viewers welcome back to expoli excited for learning and this is me prachita priya chauta so today we are going to do the project vegetable garden 1 okay so let's get into the project okay so these are the specific tasks to complete and this is my project so today um um we have to create a farm and we have to create six different types of vegetables in a farm like just a layout okay so we have already given a code for how to make the project we have to just make they have given the code for pumpkins row but we have to make it for all the rows okay so first is one row of vegetable is already created for you for pumpkins for variable i is equals to 50 i is less than 400 i is equals to i plus 50 and where pumpkin is equals to create sprite i comma 50 comma 20 comma 20 so this is the code for the pumpkin now we have to create for the rest of the vegetables these are the rest of the vegetables they have told that which vegetables we have to create so tomato mushroom brinjal carrot and spinach okay so we have to make that and one more rule they have given is that there should be 50 pixels of gap between each vegetable vertically horizontally everything like 50 50 pixel okay so now this is the project and they have also given that we have to make the background brown set the background to brown first soil yeah that uh, this is the rules now this is the project and i'm going to explain everything detailed okay so first we have to click remix so it's getting remixed one second it's just taking time yeah so we have to click remix to make a changes in the project so that i can show you what will happen okay um okay try reloading the project i think my network is slow okay yeah so this is the project now for variable for loop sorry the for loop is a is a loop that we can find in control see this one this the for loop for now we don't need it that's the reason i'm just backspacing it now now like if you have to create one one sprite for each vegetable then it would take years and so much of coding like 100 100 lines of coding or something but using the loop you can just make these many sprites with just using this much of code right it's just 10 lines of code so this is a very easy technique that you could use that's the reason now this is the farm of uncle richard now these are the vegetables so the first row was already given pumpkin and i have made rest of the rows okay so now first let us discuss what is this for loop first we'll experiment and then conclude so first for the variable you have to drag it and drop and then they have already given these numbers right so now we have to find out what are these numbers so first i'll just add it and then let's see yeah we can see that all the vegetables have been moved to the right why because um i is given as the x position right and we have defined i as 100 so he uh, the computer is replacing i as 100 and placing the first vegetable at 100 so everything is i so it's placing all the vegetables starting point at 100 okay so this we can conclude that the first thing we, which we declare the variable is the starting point of all the vegetables next what is this i is less than 400 so 
so less th this is the less than symbol that we can see right here and why is it given so first I'll make this into like let's say 350 or let's say 200 that would be easier yeah 200 now we can see that all the vegetables are like cut into half we don't know why so now I'll tell so we have created a wall that I the vegetables should not cross 200 so near 200 I'll just show you where is 200 you can find the exposition near under show grid as you can see now this is the wall okay so vegetables can't cross this there's the loop has been ended over there okay now if you say it's like 300 then it will go even further now the wall has been extended right so now there's more gap for the vegetables but now we want the vegetables we want the farm covered with vegetables so that's the reason i'm gonna keep 400 because our canvas is also 400 right so then it will be perfect yes you can see that it's clear now now next thing i is equals to i plus 50 what is this so first let's in because it's 50 let's just double it and keep hanging now what is this okay now you can see that the gap between each vegetable has been increased why because i'll just tell you so first we have positioned i as 50 so the computer will replace i as 50 and then this is a loop so it will read it again the uh, first it will replace all the i's in all these and then second it's saying that i is equal to i plus 50 next time it will read i as the previous number plus 100 so 50 plus 100 is 150 now yeah the exposition is 150 am i right under show grid so yeah and then again next time it reads as the previous number plus 100 so the previous number was the previous number was 150 so it will add 100 to 150 and it will become 250 I, I think you might have understood this logic but I have kept 50 because there should be 50 gap between each vegetable am I right so this is 50 pixels gap so first number is 50 and then add 50 to it is 100 add 100 it's 50 plus 50 is 150 as you can see the third one is 150 um, yeah 150 and then next one will be 200 and then 250 it just goes on okay so we have understood what is this for loop and all these concepts am i right yes now inside the brace bracket these um then we have to do the real thing now where pumpkin is equals to create sprite in brackets as we know that first number in create sprite means the x position second number is the y position third number is the width and fourth number is the height right so now we have already discussed that x position the computer is replacing because we have declared that i is equals 50 so it replaces the first by 50 and then it just creates a loop now then what does this 50 mean i'll just backspace and then just make it different Oh, okay no actually I'll not make it 175 because this first row is hiding under the second row yeah now we can see that the first row has been moved down why because the second number is the Y position so as we go down the pic uh, the position of Y increases okay so here we have increased the Y position so that means that the vegetables had been gone down the row of vegetable the pumpkin row has been gone down now if you suppose say i'll not say 100 150 or 200 250 because we'll not be able to see because all the vegetable pumpkin row will be under all carrot or brinjal so i'll just say let's say 125 then we can see it 
yeah now you can see that it had been even down it has gone even even now so as we increase the y position the row of vegetables is going down okay so this is the y position and then 2020 so this 2020 means the width and the height so let's just see now we can see that the width of the vegetables has been increased but the height is same now we want square vegetables right they have already given that they should be square vegetables in pumpkin they show that it should be square and the measurements were given as 2020 so we'll just keep it the same and follow the same rule done right now and this is i'll just show again now the height will increase that it will go like this and the width will be just 20 it was slim it becomes like a rectangle right the height has been increased but the width is the same okay so now we want square so i'll just keep same but if you increase both of them suppose 40 and 40 then it will be a big square i'll just show you yeah as you can see but we want small ones right so we'll just say 20 20 okay now it's the same thing for every vegetable so i'll just discuss why are we increasing 50 for the second number now let's see why are we doing that because now if i keep this as not the but 75 then what will happen you can see that the carrot row has been gone has is gone up okay so why because we have decreased the y position and because of decreasing it went up so we want 50 gap between each carrot row and pumpkin row that's the reason i have made a difference of 50 so 100 minus 50 is 50 so there's a difference between 50 of 50 okay so now it's clear so they have already given pumpkin so we have created carrot tomato brinjal mushroom spinach so this is clear now what is this function draw let's just quickly discuss so what is this background in brackets rgb 156 57 37 what is this so now let us see rgb means red green and blue r means red G means green and B means blue. So, using these three colors, we can do all the shades in the world. We can make any shade we want. But, and now what are these numbers? So, first number is for red, R, respectively. Like, first number is for red because red is first. Second number is for green. Green is second, right? And third number is for blue. Blue is third. So, now, um, if you increase this like let's say 400 now there's a there's lot of quantity of red in the background okay so that means as you increase the number of red then the quantity of red will be increased in the background now I'll just make it whatever it was or I'll keep it 56 and now I'll increase this now you can see that the quantity of green has been increased in the background so we have increased the number of like 570 is a big number right so that's the reason the quantity of red, uh, green has been increased La lastly let's say 437 437 now quantity of blue has been increased so using these three colors we can make any shade in this world so how now if you want like a green uh, now if you want like brown color which we need so what we should do is first search rgb color picker on google and then you can see this thing so whatever shade you want or you want pink then then drag it whichever shade you like now I like this one so then I'll just control C copy it and control V paste it now the same shade has been now we want brown so 
I'll just go to brown where it's kind of red and brown. Now I'll go to the shade which I like. I like this dark brown. So then I'll copy it, control C and paste it. Control V. Oh, it's wrong. Control V. Yeah. Now you can see that the same shade has been applied on the background. So this is how you use the RGB color picker. Okay. Now, what is draw sprites? Now, this draw sprites is really, really, really important because if you don't have this, then you can only see the background, nothing else. I'll just show you. All the rituals have ha are gone. Why? Because we have not mentioned draw sprites. Draw sprites means draw all the sprites that we have mentioned. We have just created the sprites, but we have not implemented them. We, with this, we can implement it. Draw sprites and then they'll come back. And lastly, yeah, so the project is done. This was a pretty easy project. And they've given everything that we need, the uh, for variable, for loop, variable i is equals to 50, the quantity, everything. So we just need to fill the, the vegetable row of carrot, tomato, brinjal, mushroom, and spinach. So this one pretty easy. And if you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to watch all our videos for more details. And don't forget to comment if you have any questions or doubts regarding this. And if you want any, if you want me to do any video, then you can always comment it. Thank you.